Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines. Now we're back on the still 028 AV Super chainsaw. In the previous video I've already addressed the throttle trigger configuration. I've just finished rebuilding the carbs, had a carb overall. Um, that dead man wire is now in situ. I'm not sure I can see that round about where my next finger is there. We did have, I've got a non genuine oil cap. Uh, as the other one was porous, and I've just encountered an issue with the ignition coil. Now I'm going to do this uh, with the coil in situ. If you were to remove it, I'm trying to get some light on there. It's, it's simply two T27 bolts, a spade fit in there, and your wiring to the dead man. Got a ground wire, sorry enough, that's grounded here. But we're going to do this in situ, what it is, very common. Boot here. Let's come away. Where's that? From HD lead here. Boot. Let's come away from the HD lead. So now we can't test the spark. So we'll get set up and we're, we'll have a butcher. Right, here we are, here's the subject, the 28 AB, HT lead here, there's our boot, and there is our coiled spring, which I've already taken the liberty of getting out the, the boot, very simple, Clamp onto that coil log so a pair of pliers comes out. Then what we're gonna do with a penetrating fluid into our boot. It's like, like so I'm doing this in a what's going on here? You do there we go. I'm doing this in citrus, I'm not actually removing the coil. There is no need to. To make life a bit easier, I'm going to slide the boot on. Like so. So we've got a bit of our coil. Exposed. Then I'm gonna be careful with your fingers there, because I have been known to nick myself before doing this. I'm gonna remove a bit of the sheathing. from a HT lead. Working our way around. Like so. I mean, if you would find it easier removing the coil, which no doubt it probably is easier. As I said, it's only the connectors, your ground and your, your dead man off of the coil, then 227. Torque bits. So. Looking 
and then it uh, you can remove the coil. Just be, just be mindful when you do reset the coil and put it back to make sure you've got good gapping to the flywheel. Otherwise, you won't uh, your ignition. You won't get that spark for the combustion chamber. Right, so that's that. Now, we get our spring. No way you can see that. So I've exposed the HD lead there. Now this has got sort of a, uh, a prong, if you like, coming off this coiled spring. Has got a sit. It actually penetrates your HD lead. So want to be somewhere about half an inch um, about half half an inch or so uh, back to, down your HC lead Then oh, there. Oh, dropped See, I won't, won't do this. Move it off. So we'll go for about there. Take the boot off and make it a bit easier. So, a pair of pliers. HD lead sheathing is very, very stubborn. It's very, it's a bit fiddly. There you go, dropped it again. There we go. We got it. Then with your exposed um, copper wire off of the HD lead. Rap. 
wrap that around your spring coil. And just so there's contact. And then as we pull the boat back over, like so, just square that up. Like that. We should now, there's a plug. Call on first. Have a spark. So I'll get it all, get the recall back on, get it all, the unit back together, and uh, we'll test for spark, see if that's ignition core, HT lead, and boot fix on this unit has worked. Right, put the recall back on. Got a plug, which in this instance is the BPM R7 ANGK, the Bosch ones are slightly different, I think they're WM, if memory serves me correct, so we'll see if our uh, ignition coil HT lead boot reinstallation or reinstatement as well, I'm just going to ground that on the, the um, pot. We are in view. I'm seeing. Let's get that grounded again. A good old spark. So. Got a working coil now, fantastic. Uh, trying to think what else I've got to do on this. I have re rebuilt the car, as I say. I didn't film it, but that there, some of the gaskets from the carb rebuild kit for this unit. I think it's a Walbro carb. Uh, B, oh, forget that, forget what Walbro carb it is, it's B somewhat. Uh, so that's been rebuilt. We've got the house, we've got ignition now. <coughs> so we've got a working coil. So we've got spark. Uh, trigger interlock configuration is all set. We've got that porous oil cap changed out. So we'll get this all built back together. Then we'll go for a fire up in a few videos from now. Yes, we will. Um, what else have we got to tell you? The... 250 subscriber giveaway is now shut. I think there's only about four entrants, so whoever has entered off the top of my head, I can't remember all of you. Uh, there's only about four. You've got a very good chance, but just like the National Lottery, you've got to be in it to win it. Um, so that the draw for that will be coming up some point in December, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, this will be coming up in a fire up video. Uh, and then you've seen all the other ongoing works that I've got uh, in a previous video. Check out my Amazon wish list. Um, that would be greatly appreciated in contributing towards the growth of the Dick Small Engine channel. Um, give us a like, share, and subscribe. Won't cost you bugger all. Again, that will greatly help. Uh, so until the next one, take care. Ta-da for now.